and welcome from the Tech ID here in Berlin. My name is Maria and I'm standing here with Carlo van Driesten. Can you briefly introduce yourself and the company you were working at? Yes, uh, thank you very much for having me. I'm an engineer for virtual tests and validation at BMW. So um, my task is basically to try to facilitate the testing of autonomous driving functions in a computer game. Can you elaborate that a bit? You can see that uh, if you have a car, that the thing that an OEM is very good at is they buy the parts and they integrate it physically. Mm -hmm. And then they put in a test driver and he gives a thumbs up and says it works very fine. Okay. So I'm simplifying a little bit, but um, if you have a very complex function, mm -hmm. it is not possible to do that anymore. Okay, so sure. you need more assistance. So what we do is that we take the parts that exist physically and we have a replacement model, okay. a virtual one, and we do this kind of same integration process virtually. We build like a virtual car mm -hmm. and we drive it around in a virtual world so we can have the insights on how the function is actually working. And my role is somehow being a systems architect who tries to facilitate uh, bringing together the different parts of different companies and kind of uh, enabling to work together. So that you have this virtual car, more or less. So that I have a virtual car, <laughs> Okay. Yes. So is this because you said you have the more or less testing in the virtual car, um, does it enhance the testing on the road or is that completely two different completely testing series? I think the testing is always complementary. Okay. So what you have is uh, you maybe have you have rules for writing code. Mm -hmm. You maybe have an audit. You have four eyes principle to mm -hmm. read over stuff. Um, you maybe have a hardware in the loop test where you integrate different yeah. hardware parts. And you have a software in the loop test, which is that virtual world yeah. driving a car in a computer game. And uh, all of that is, is stacking up together okay. in order to have uh, the most secure way of providing such a function for the customer. Okay, like you said, safety is one of the big um, pain points we have right now. And um, today in your case study, you talked about developing, uh, distribu developing a distributed marketplace for simulation data and models. What is the trend in there? So what is the challenge in that? I have to clarify what that means. Mm -hmm. So distributed marketplace, uh, it it's basically that um, you need a lot of um, of data and models and and bring that into the virtual world and it comes from different companies so it means maybe a car model or mm -hmm. a model of a plant uh, or, or plant or buildings mm -hmm. and uh, or a street network so all of that comes together and um, we have to see um, if these things are validated mm -hmm. so if they uh, comply with a certain standard um, and what I mean by, by marketplace is basically to enable a, uh, a transparent way of offering these parts uh, by different companies and providing a settlement layer that enables to, to offer these parts, to mm. validate the parts, to transfer them, uh, solving the digital rights management, licensing, automated contract execution. So it's... Um, it's facilitating to connect people and companies. Yeah. So like we have, because this is something that we hear a lot right now in the industry, that they have to grow together, that you have to work together to make autonomous driving a reality. So it's one step to help this connectivity to grow, right? Yes, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have a, a bottom-up approach. Mm -hmm. What you often hear is that people come with the slogan of saying, data is the new gold. Okay. And <laughs> I hate that because gold is pretty well defined. It's an element yeah. and data is not defined. So um, it's, it's uh, impossible that I say, here is that chunk of data. And you say, well, I understand that completely because there is no mm -hmm. description of, mm -hmm. of what it is. So I, I come from the point of view where I say, I, I define the data structures. I define what it is. I define the, the wording, so the language, mm -hmm. speaking a common language. and uh, this is making it possible to exchange that between us. Yeah. And that's just the first step. And the second step is that I say, okay, now I understand that data. Where do I get it from? Sure. 
So I, maybe I meet some nice people here and mm -hmm. I have some business cards and I can call them, but it's not a very efficient way. And um, so this solving this transparency problem is something that I would like to do. Is this really a challenge that the industry is facing right now? Like, of course, everybody is working on autonomous driving and of course, you don't want to have the yeah, competition looking into your project. But do we need more transparency? Um, just like, let's say, on a, on a level that everybody is comfortable with? I mean, um, so, but um, I, I'm stating an opinion yes, here. Okay? Sure. If you think that you can do everything by yourself, uh, you, you should keep all the information for yourself. Yeah and say, okay, give me three years and I will give you the greatest product mm. you've ever seen. Uh, but then you have to build everything, uh, you're responsible for everything, and normally at BMW, we, we buy the, the seat that you're sitting in. Okay, okay? so yeah. why, why should we build seats? Yeah. I mean, we, we give the requirements and how that seat mm. should look like, or how the, and the design and uh, um, that it should be automatically moving. Um, but we are not a seat manufacturer. Yeah. So in this way, coming up with a solution for that technology might be something where you are very fast by doing everything by yourself with your mm -hmm. competencies, but in the end, you have to industrialize a product. Sure. And I see the, the strength of, of the German industry or European industry by working together with a lot of very specialized companies. Mm -hmm. And I actually, I'm seeking their assistance, so I want to work with them together. So speaking the same language and uh, being again, transparent yes. on what I need and yeah. what I want is, is the premise of doing that. Next question is what um, autonomous driving um, or how autonomous driving will change the auto automotive landscape that we have right now, because we have a lot of very successful OEMs, but also we have like Uber, Waymo, and so on and so on. So how will this change with autonomous driving on the horizon? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to look in the future. Sure. And <laughs> um, I must admit that I'm coming more from an engineering, mm. engineering point of view. I think it should be a solution that contributes to, for example, uh, reducing pollution mm -hmm. in order to have shuttle services that transport more than one person. Uh, so that we share rides, uh, we share cars. I mean, I think uh, renting a car or leasing a car is already going away from ownership. Yeah. So um, having a car that you rent and that um, drives to your house by itself is just an extension of that. Yeah. So it, in the end, I hope that it will reduce the consumption of, of materials and it reduce the pollution that, uh, that uh, we create uh, with the industry somewhere. And uh, that on the other hand, we enable a necessary need, the transportation of people mm -hmm. and being uh, mobile, yeah. m uh, being uh, the possible, having the possibility um, to, to come from my, from my home to my workplace. So in a very convenient way and yeah, like the world is growing together, the industry is growing together, and this, of course, needs a lot of transportation models. Yes, and, and what I think is that we, we provide kind of a base technology, mm -hmm. and the business models that come out of that technology is something that lies ahead. Yeah. And it will, time will tell what will be successful. What do you like about the conference? Last question, more or less. Mm, I think it's, it's perfectly organized. Thank you. <laughs> I think I've never seen a conference that's so well organized. And there are a lot of very interesting people to meet here. And um, there are very nice presentations. And I'm looking forward to them. And I'm also looking forward to find like-minded mm, yeah. uh, people that are willing to maybe go that way that I envision with me together. Then I hope you find them too. And thank you for attending this quick chat with me and have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you.